success. Oh. 13 year old and eighth grader that's playing in varsity is definitely a rare and special treat. Despite not even being in high school yet, 13 year old Winston Watkins Jr. has already played his first year of varsity football. You would think the transition would be hard for him because his kid's bigger, stronger, faster, but he took it took about storm pretty well. Now Watkins has a chance to fulfill that promise. He's a four star recruit, the number 10 wide receiver in the country for the junior class, and has already committed to Deion Sanders in Colorado. Add that to an already stacked FBA roster and the Lions have a good chance of getting back to this. One, two, three, chance! Just really want to be a leader and just make sure everybody doing the right thing and just stay focused and we can go back to back like you said. Winston uh, yeah, we coming, but the birds, well, they still humming. Winston Watkins Jr., five-star recruit from 2025 Class D, commits from Deion Sanders, Colorado. He was a highly touted recruit, but now he's gone from the Colorado Buffaloes. Now, this news came out three to four days ago, but it's significant because of the situations going on at Boulder, the hills and hurdles that Prime already has to jump over, and you won't believe why this kid decommitted from prime some say the dude is only a four-star level player but others are calling him a five-star such as rivals.com now the 5'11 185 pound receiver from fort myers florida has committed to the colorado buffaloes a day after coach dion was basically announced as the head coach he holds a total of 22 offers now this dude went to img but left and went back to his former team let me just play it and show you what i'm detailing and talking about West Florida are very familiar with the name Watkins. Sammy, Jalen, and Austin have all played in the NFL. As NBC 2's Jaron May explains, there is a new Watkins in the teeth. Championship trophy for the first time in school history. Now the Lions are attempting to become the first Southwest Florida team to ever go back. And be uh, closer to home. The last name Watkins is famous in the Southwest Florida football community. Sammy and Jalen Watkins are former Super Bowl champs, and Austin Watkins is in his first year with the Browns. Now it's their cousin, Winston Watkins' turn. And transfer to FBA in order to be closer to home and be with a sick family member. I wanted to uh, come back and just put on for my uh, home team, you know what I'm saying? This won't be the first time Watkins suits up in Southwest Florida. He played varsity football for... Now, as you've seen there, Winston Watkins Jr. returns to South Florida to play for First Baptist Academy. We all know his cousins, Jalen and Sammy Watkins, two great college and NFL players. Now, the wide receiver, Winston Watkins Jr., who has a five-star rating by rivals and four-star by other recruiting sites. Now, he said he is rescinding on his commitment from head coach Deion Sanders, the number three receiver and the number one player in the Florida class of 2025 he originally pledged to colorado in december now following his decision the 2025 recruit winston watkins released a statement that said this about the colorado buffaloes and why was his choice to leave primetime coach sanders all because of these reasons here now when i read the statements you guys have to understand that we all were kids before so you have to understand his mindset and clearly somebody got to him and made him make a f informal decision about why prime is not so much the go-to but also not the one to leave because he thinks dion is about to leave colorado check this out right here now the statement reads like this first off i want to thank god for everything he has been to me in my life walking said this recruitment process since the ninth grade has been quite a journey so far secondly i would like to thank coach Dion prime sanders and his wonderful staff at colorado for showing me a beautiful culture and a wonderful fan base in colorado this was a tough decision to make but after long talks with my dad i have decided to decommit from the university of colorado and open my recruitment Colorado will be one of my top schools I just want to study every college that is recruiting me and continue to pray that I am making the right decision that I feel is best for me and my family on national signing day in December of 2024 no more commitments until national signing day in December 2024 signing line 
Now, the young kid star receiver also said this to Sports Illustrated. He said, I didn't want to limit the opportunities I have because when you're committed, some schools try not to talk to you, Watkins told Junior. So he didn't want to, you know, stop the opportunities to flourish in because we know things can go left and it fluctuates. Now, he also said, I have a lot of schools. I want to make sure I'm still good with them because I don't know if Prime will still be there when I get there. Those were key important things to pay attention to because a lot of people alluded to either Prime goes to the NFL or a different situation due to a lot of turmoil going on behind the scenes we know when Colorado lost their office of coordinators a lot of aspects and naysayers came out and not just that people who are Benedict Arnolds and Judas amongst the ranks basically plants implanted in the team for dysfunction now Sanders and the Buffaloes are four and six with two more games left in the pro football hall of famers first season at the helm at Colorado you feel me Boulder over there loves him but it's what the rest of the world is looking at Sanders joined Colorado in December after leading Jackson State the three seasons and winning back-to-back -back conference champions now you're probably saying the hell with this receiver Watkins but not me I'm gonna show you a video about him what makes this gifted young receiver from Florida so elite so gifted it's not only in his lineage and blood to play the receiver position but it's also the dog in him at a young age of 13 years old when he was in school getting national attention for playing the game of football pay attention to the details of this interview Miller success oh. 13 year old an eighth grader that's playing in varsity is definitely a rare and special treat despite not even being in high school yet 13 year old Winston Watkins jr. has already played his first year of varsity football you would think the transition would be hard for him because it's kids bigger stronger faster but he took it took about storm pretty well if you watched him he didn't look like he was 13 leading the team in all-purpose yards receiving yards and junior all-american opening doors no other Watkins has had before young man like him uh, can come through and really wow a lot of the uh, scouts and college coaches out there. And, it's, and on, on our platform, it really opens the doors. Miami, down south. Go! With four more years of high school football, plus the experience of the Junior All-American game in December, he issued a warning for his fellow Sanders shook up the roster using the transfer portal and a landmark amount of recruits you know basically the commitments came through but also a lot left like where he lost a star was Montana Laminius Craig you know hitting the transfer portal and dipping out but they have another four star favorite that four-star wide receiver is Lamonson Waller. Colorado continues to impress the 2025 four-star wide receiver target who they're playing fully attention to and focusing on him more. Because what you need to understand is after you lose a four-star slash five-star receiver in Winston Watkins, you know that Lamar, listen, Lamar son basically bruh is gonna become the emerging number one target for Colorado in the class of 2025 and we're gonna pay attention in December to see if he stays as a commitment or leaves now the four-star wide receiver in California visited Boulder for the seventh time over the weekend now Colorado started the year 3-0 defeating T uh, TCU, Nebraska and Colorado State. Since then they've won just one game beating Arizona State. They're 4-6 on the year after losing in week 11 to Arizona Wildcats at home 34-31. to They've also lost to Oregon, USC, Stanford, UCLA and Oregon State and now this Arizona situation which they face but the Stanford loss stands out the most typically because as the Buffaloes were 29 and 0 at halftime but then fell in double overtime 46 to 43 some started questioning prime and a lot of situations of that as of now though their 2025 recruit Antoine Hill Jr. and Jamaris Wilder remain committed to playing for Colorado look man it's on what you guys decide do you think this was a bad move by the wide receiver do you think 
Dion and Coach Prime are going through a situation. Well, it is. I said the same person, but you get what I'm saying. Dion and Colorado, are they facing hurdles they have to cross? Or do you think it's looking outstanding for 2024 coming up? Let me know in the comment sections how you guys are feeling about this situation. Are you caring for this receiver? I am. I'm not going to even doubt it. Not just because I'm a Florida boy, because I know the hidden talent and gem that this kid possesses. And it's a much needed weapon to a team that's desperately needed a win. I hope Coach Prime could figure it out. There's a lot of dysfunction going on right now. And I feel like if you do support Colorado Buffaloes and you do support Coach Prime and those young men over there in Boulder, then you have to be honest about the situation and you have to not call it out, but be aware of it and have just self-awareness. You know what I mean? And then accountability has to go all around. We can't spare certain people of accountability because they have a name and their name are the golden standard. No matter even if they did get cheated on situations or not because when you take accountability progress can be made but i have hopes high hopes for colorado and dion in 2024 but this season is at a loss it's still a win because they only won one game last year have a blessed day love your family love your kids stay blessed